the 2026 power unit regulations could see a major shake-up to the engine performance order. Helmut Marko has revealed that the team are, miles ahead, of rivals Ferrari in the power unit development race for the 2026 regulation changes. In doing so, he also shut down Mercedes chief Toto Wolff's comments suggesting that the team's criticism of the new technical guidelines comes from a place of panic and desperation. Red Bull have been extremely vocal in their opposition to the upcoming regulation changes with Marco, as well as Christian Horner and Max Verstappen claiming that the further steps towards the hybrid power unit model and the increased weight that will bring could have a catastrophic impact on the quality of the racing in F1. Mercedes boss Wolf has made his feelings known about Red Bull's protests, claiming that Horner's opposition to the engine changes stems from the team's reported struggles in the development of their 2026 power unit. Marco's new comments, however, suggest that this isn't the case. Speaking to Motorsport Total about Red Bull's position in the development race for the new regulations, Marco stated, I don't think we're technically behind. We got people from Ferrari, Mercedes, Renault and Cosworth, for the power unit development. We have Ford as a partner in the sector. We have absolute top people when it comes to combustion engines. And we have two very bright minds on the electric side. In August, a complete combustion engine with MG UK and battery is still running. We are miles ahead of Audi, we are miles ahead of Ferrari, and Mercedes is about right up. With Mercedes' theories about the struggles of the Red Bull powertrain's operation seemingly debunked, attention turns to the struggles of Ferrari and Audi. For the German manufacturer, a disappointing start to the new regulation period could be a disaster, given that Alfa Romeo Sauber are already mired in a lower midfield battle without the handicap of a suboptimal power unit. According to Marco, Ferrari are also struggling in their development of the 2026 power unit. This news will be extremely worrying reading for Charles Leclerc, who is expected to put pen to paper on a new long-term contract with the Scuderia at some point this summer. The Italian manufacturer has endured a disappointing 2023 season after starting out the 2022 campaign as immediate title contenders, and while Fred Vasser and the team at Maranello are beginning to get a handle on the intricacies of the SF23, this latest development will overshadow any recent progress in the eyes of the fans.